In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to learn how to make this split screen effect that you see on the screen. Here we are in After Effects. I already imported the videos that we are going to be using for this tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is to lay out the split screen. So to do that, we go over here, right click new and then solid. Make sure it's white. Click OK. And I'll press enter, rename this to mat1 and press S and then scale it down to around 40 and then Ctrl D to duplicate this, move this while holding shift somewhere around here, Ctrl D, duplicate it again and move it like so and then select all those three and then go to align and then click on this icon distribute horizontally so the gaps between those are same so we duplicate this last one again ctrl d and then press s we scale it up a little more and then move this somewhere around here at the top Ctrl D to duplicate it and then move it like so. So we select both of those again that are at the top. So Ctrl D to duplicate and then move this down like so. So I'll have this layers in order. So that's, that's our layout. Now we want to drop these videos one by one, so we will select the first one, drop this below mat1. So if you don't see this track mat option, then click on here, toggle switches. And we will change the track mat of the first one to alpha mat. So there we have it here, and we will press S to scale it down to fit the size of the screen. So that should be enough. And we will do the same for the rest. Select the second one below mat 2. And then change the track mat to alpha mat 2. Scale it down and make sure to fit the size of the screen. Move its position. Let's have a look. And I'll do the same for the rest. And I'll probably speed up the video so we don't waste any more time. So to animate this, we are gonna pre-compose this all one by one. So first one with first, Control shift c name this met1. And I'll do the same for the rest, so I'll speed up the video. Now we want to animate the first one, so we go to the first layer, press S, set a keyframe to it, and we want to solo this, so we only see this one, and ignoring the other ones, change the scale to zero at the beginning, move by 10 frames and change this back to 100 select both of those keyframes press f9 and there we have our first animation and now we solo this second and third ones so we see those as well and now we select both of those press p for position and we set a keyframe, move by 10 frames, so to 20th frame, set a keyframe to position and go back to 10th frame and we will change this one by one. So we move this somewhere around here and same for second one, we move this like so and we can we will move this down here and then 
select the last keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and we will cut this cut this video by pressing alt and left bracket so it doesn't show at the beginning let's have a look at it and there we have it now we are gonna unshy those so we can see the whole thing and we want to animate the rest of those so we select all of the rest and go to 20 frames and press alt and left bracket so we cut these videos as well so they don't show at the beginning and press p set a keyframe on position to all of this go to first second set another keyframe to all of this and then select the last keyframes press f9 and we will change the beginning ones so we select this one first mat 4 and then change the x position of it while holding shift we move it until it disappears from the screen so we select the other ones and change the x position while holding shift let's have a look at it now lastly if we are satisfied with our animation we go over here we click on this toggle switches and then add motion blur to all of those and then make sure to check this as well and there we have it that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you did subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorials